Okay, here we go. I'm going to start with ivory. If you make this bead in white, you'll get a different effect. The background will be much lighter. Just keep that in mind. I wanted a darker background for this one, so I'm using the ivory. And I'm just working on the length and then making it into a, you know, kind of a tubular bead. And now that I have that done, I'm going to put as much ivory on it as I can. I'm going to put quite a bit on because I want this to be a larger bead. But I really like to start out these larger beads with um, a long barrel shape bead, the length of the bead that I want. And this will be kind of an ovally shaped bead. It needs to be bigger, more color, more color. Okay, and once you have all your color, here's where it all happens. Just very gently let your bead cool down and gently just roll up your foil. And I got, I'm so sorry, you guys. This is the worst piece of filming I've done. What I'm doing here is just rolling it on the marvering table just to burnish it down. And then I also use my knife to burnish it down as much as I can before I put on the dots. And when I put these dots on, I make sure that they're just, I just wait a second before I put them on the bead so the heat doesn't melt the foil underneath. That's like the biggest takeaway here. Take your time when you're putting on these dots and wait just a second before you add it. If you overheat your bead at this point, then anything silver will, um, will melt into your glass. So you wanna be super careful that you don't do any of that just yet. And keep in mind that the silver foil will insulate your bead for a while so you have plenty of time to burnish it and just if you just gently put the bead in the flame in the end of the flame that's really all you need just a little tiny bit of heat if you need it at all and then once you have all your dots put on it's all about melting them in and this is like, this is it. You melt it in. I'm gonna melt these in halfway and we'll see what we get. I think this came out amazing. And then I'm gonna show you real quick. Oh, I just love the way that looks. Oh my God. Now in this one, I had to do two, of course. In this one, I wanted to melt them in all the way to show you the difference between the two. I must say, they both look so scrumptious. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next time in the dungeon.